Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 13th of November 1956, the United States Supreme Court upheld the District Court's ruling in Browder v. Gale that segregation on public buses and transportation in Alabama was illegal. Jim Crow laws firmly established racial segregation on buses in the southern states, even in the face of the increasing national civil rights movement. In Alabama's capital, Montgomery, the arrest of seamstress and local NAACP secretary Rosa Parks, after she refused to give up her seat, sparked a city-wide boycott of the buses. Shortly after beginning the Montgomery bus boycott, local civil rights leaders began to prepare a legal challenge to the segregation laws. Rather than focusing on the case of Rosa Parks, Civil rights lawyer Fred Gray instead filed a federal civil action lawsuit on behalf of five other black women who had been discriminated against on the Montgomery buses. Aurelia Browder had been arrested and fined for sitting in the white section of a bus over seven months before Rosa Parks' act of defiance. The case, of which she was the lead plaintiff, was filed against the mayor of Montgomery, W.A. Gale, on the 1st of February 1956, under Reconstruction-era civil rights legislation. Four months later, on the 5th of June, the three judges of the district court ruled two to one that segregation of the buses was unconstitutional under the 14th Amendment. Both the state and the city of Montgomery appealed the decision, but on the 13th of November 1956, the Supreme Court upheld the district's ruling and ordered the desegregation of buses in Alabama and Montgomery. The bus boycott finally ended on the 20th of December, when the buses were desegregated. This marked an important victory in the battle for civil rights and stimulated the national movement across the United States. Thank you.